Welcome back to the product review, and today we're going to take a look at How to Draw Animals by Jack Ham. This book is fantastic. I mean, book, it's not super thick. You can see here, front, back, and that's the amount. But as I'm now involved in more of a creature heavy show, I went back to all the creature books that I had and I forgot how good this is. It's so good. Because it's not only talking about how to draw animals, but there's so many little tidbits and just tips in terms of how is this animal moving? What are the differences between this animal and the other one? It's really great. So if you are into creature animation, I highly recommend this one. But don't listen to me. <laughs> let's take a look at it. All right. So like I said, that's the front. Get into it. How to draw animals. That's the title. Got some poses in there. And then we got a little intro text. This is the content. As you can see, it's packed. And then we're starting with a dog, the Greyhound. And just kind of, these are kind of the drawing tips. But at the same time, for instance, no animal has a straight backbone. So there's always something in there that goes beyond just this is how you're supposed to draw it. This is how they function. Simplifying the animal. Got three body basics. That goes into it, applying the ABCs. Then you have fundamentals here. Important fundamentals of animal feet. Love this here, the, the uh, comparison with how a human will be. Simplified skeleton, so it goes across multiple creatures here. Location of front knee joint. I love this, love how this is presented. Then you got the different types of animals, how they are, comparing with the front legs, comparing animal muscles, the back legs, then bone structure, muscle structure, surface anatomy. Fact about feet and claw, this is the stuff that I love, where it just goes through the different types of creatures and then their differences. And their, those little fact hit bits are great. Comparing foot bones, likeness in animal heads, you got the animal nose, the animal eye, the animal ear. Discussing fast action. Again, lots of little tips in there. More general facts on the run. Love this too, seeing the different poses. Basic cat structure, now getting into cats. Again, more drawing tips, but it really goes back and forth between drawing tips and shading, but also how they're structured to simply push the cats. But even through all of this, you still have every now and then little tippets in there. And as an animator, how a lion walks, like, oh, all right, well, that's great. That's great to see. So anything like that, where it's notes on lion drawing, it's not just drawing. Easy steps here, we're getting into lions, how a lion walks. Now you got the side view, again, for locomotion for animation, is great. Facial features, then you have more about poses. Then you got about the head structure, proper way to stripe a tiger. Yes, this goes more into the drawing now, but then still it's peppered throughout as I'm talking like a broken record, lots of facts, but it's great. Good action poses, facial tips. Love this here, all the comparisons, it's great. Body shapes and markings. Again, even just like in terms of reference for different kind of poses to start your shots, great. Getting into the bear, major bear side by side how they move, how they're structured. Love this here. Bear and man compared, it's awesome. Some more bear tips, simplified. As he said, it was not that simple. You got comparisons here. Bear facts for the artists, love it. Getting into horses. Current class, I'm teaching horses, also super helpful. Guides in good horse drawing, helps on surface anatomy. It's great too, surface anatomy, just like before. Bone structure, muscles, surface anatomy. Then you got your drawing tips here. But then you also got your walk and the horse in action, how the horse runs. It's great again. Helpful facts about a running horse. Switching over to this, the jumping horse. Then you got the rear view, different poses, unusual positions. Additional tips on horses. Then you got zebras and the markings. Then you get to bigger creatures. We got the elephant. So same through here, how to draw it, how it's structured, the ears, different types of features. Then you got the feet and the legs, leg comparisons, trunk, nose, and mouth. Again, goes into tips, not just drawing, the rear view, different poses. Also, how the elephant walks. Again, awesome for animators. Coyote and fox and the wolf. Same thing here, deconstruction, comparisons, always great. That's also great. Love this here. Seeing all the different poses. Then we have a camel. It's awesome. Then you got a nose and a giraffe. Getting into different creatures where it's kind of just one or two pages, but it's great that it's a bit more comprehensive. Sheep, goats, buffalo, drawing the cow. Then you got more creatures here. <laughs> that face is so great. 
Then also the monkey simplified. So you're getting into different kinds of creatures again. Comparisons in terms of the head structure. So here are different kinds again. Monkey sketching. The eyes, great. Nodes on a gorilla. Get a kangaroo. Lots of little creatures in here. Odd and unusual animals. Then you got more small animals. More lambs, right? Small animals. And then animal interpretation and abstraction. It's also cool. And here's the index. And as I said before, this is the backside. There you go. Quick little overview, but I can't recommend this enough. If you want really a great overview, where it's if you're interested in drawing, obviously it says how to draw animals, but it is so peppered through, as I said before, with tips where I'm going to take these and I'm going to write just like a separate ebook for myself, just with the tips. I can't draw, so this is definitely for me, so I need to practice, but there's so many separate little tips that I want to categorize into, into separate areas where it's just great as a, as a refresher. Even if you've gone through this, it's just great to get a reminder of how they move, how they walk, what creature does what, and why it's great. I say all this, I don't even know where I can get it. It's an older book. So I'm gonna check the links, may I check Amazon or the bookstores where we can find this, maybe locally, maybe in your library, I don't know. But I'll check for the links. If I find anything, it's gonna be in the description. If there's nothing in the description, then it's probably sold out. Maybe you can find it on eBay, that's totally up to you. But that is that. How to draw animals by Jack Ham. As it says here, simple, clear instructions for drawing. Also basic fundamentals for the beginner, new principles and techniques for the professional. So highly recommend it. And if you have it, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Maybe you have some other recommendations. I got some other ones I'm gonna cover, but I love this one. So if you have anything else, let me know. I'm curious, I can cover these, maybe get them as well. And that is that. So hopefully short and sweet. Thank you for watching. And if you like these kind of uploads, you don't wanna miss any of these, you know, it's easy, it's the end. It's the YouTube pitch. Subscribe so you don't miss any of those set uploads. And that's kind of that. I don't wanna waste more of your time. So thank you for watching. Until the very end, if you're still watching, thank you. And that is that. So I'll see you in my next upload.